That's right, as the Roughnecks taking the field here in Houston. Should be a fun one tonight as we wrap up week two. The XFL on FS1. It's the 1-0 Battlehawks against the 1-0 Roughnecks. And he stays committed to that philosophy. Got Nick Holly in the backfield. He gets it with a big hole. Holly's got a first down and shoved out of bounds into Battlehawk territory. Down. Oh! St. Louis shows blitz. Delivered. It's a catch. Phillips has it. Making a move near a first down. We'll see what the mark looks like. He's got it. Three receivers on the field. Walker. Blitz coming. Sees it. Steps away. Going deep. Looking for Coates. It is caught. Oh, it's incomplete. Looked like he had it from here, but waiting on the signal. I wonder if they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. I think what they're going to say is he stepped out of bounds. Uh, right so if there. you step out of bounds, I think this play is going to call back. And let's see if it's... Illegal touching yeah. against the offense. From 40. This is 44 again. Snap and hold are fine, and so is the kick. That's the plan. A lot of first down here is an RPO, and over the middle he's got a completion, and wide open too. It's caught by Mumphrey, and a big game down to the 20. Tiamo in trouble. They're going to set up a screen. Somehow Jones held on. He's got blocking. Jones inside the five, and he's in. Touchdown, St. Louis. Yesterday, Chuck Long told us that most plays, they're always going to have a tight end. Well, on that third and long, they took Marcus Lucas off the field. They went four wide. I think Houston just assumed they would drop back deep, four wide offense. And there, you can see two high safeties. Everybody is soft. Almost the entire back end is in the, is in the end zone. Great play call there by Chuck Long to take advantage, show a different personnel group to go out the rest of this game and see if they identify and attack it. What a catch by Holly. That throw is behind Nick Holly, but the beautiful adjustment, and he's got a first down for 13. Holly is a guy that, that, that June Jones talked about. He said when we when he first got here, we, we just thought he was a running back. You know, at Kent State, he played a little bit of everything. Walker pumps, throws, got a man wide open. It's Lewis, makes the catch inside the 20. All right, that was Walker by in time with the pump fake. Lewis got open, and it's a 33-yard game. Walker pumps again, still looking, dancing, firing, it's caught for the touchdown. A bullet to Cam Phillips for six. His movement in the pocket, KB, that, that, that's his game. I know we keep saying it, but his ability to keep plays alive, just move his feet, move around guys, it gives his receivers time to adjust routes, make a break, and what an unbelievable kind of sidearm action. Unbelievable play. Touchdown. Just his ability to move around in the pocket. It gives it gives Phillips. That wasn't even Phillips' original um, route. And watches. Look at this. Right under the defensive lineman. Oh. oh, oh. Fake to Walker. Oh, Williams. Walker keeps. Rolls. Flips. Diving. Is he in? No. He is just short. Third down, blitz, picked up, Walker, now in trouble, comes near side, has a completion, long way to go, making moves, has a first down. What a play by Raheem Malone. Had four catches last week, he picks up 15 there, and he really did it all himself. Third down play, let's take a look. Yep, I think he did. It was hard to see in real time. It looks to me like his left foot is in, right, and then left is out. Protection. Ready to go? Yeah. Four-man rush. Tamu in pressure. Steps away. Drag down for the sack. Multiple. This is an offense that we're, that we're used to seeing at the college level, and this is an offense that's really... Oh. This one, though, is picked off. It's Cody Brown. He's got it with some room and blocks inside the 30. Brown cuts back. right here on the right side. Oh, the tight end came back and got beat on the edge. Great rush. Just gets his arm hit. Kalen Burnett has a great pressure off the edge, beats the tight end on the kind of the high block. It's a brutal, brutal assignment for any tight end. Tomu doesn't usually make those mistakes, but... Drew Lyman in the game. 
And they will run it, and that is not going to get it done. It, oh, yes, it will. Touchdown from the other side of the field is signal. Really on the field, it's touchdown. The Butler finds the end zone one play after the interception. Walker looking for two. No. Well, that's the signal that he crossed. The ball came out, but the signal is that was enough by Lewis for the two-point conversion. Let's see if he Let's take, yeah. had it. Great catch, ball away and low. That's sometimes the hardest catch. Is his knee down? It's hard to see. No. I, I think, think that's a good in. call. I th Damu gives it right to Jones, and he does not get it. Yeah. Dietrich Nichols there first. He had help and a turnover on downs. Bunch alignment. 590 is the protection. Texas would be the route concept. And he's hit. Walker gets away. Looking. Can't find anybody. Now he's going to run it. Walker electrifying. He's got a first down. What else can you say about this kid? You can make an argument he's been the best kid and he's been the best player in the entire league through two weeks of the XFL season. He can do it through the air. He can do it on the ground. He's the MVP if the season ends after two weeks. He's, he's incredible. Him and probably Cardell Jones, right? Cardell Jones has kind of gotten off to a great start out in D.C., but this kid is incredible. 590, same protection. Walker, he's got a completion. It's Phillips again. You see this big gap here in the middle of the field in the, in the end zone. Walker oh. sees it. Floating it. Is he in? Touchdown. Phillips again. He just breaks contain. You, you know, it's hard to know what the route really was because the second he hit his back step, he flushed out of the pocket to the right. And this is the back corners of the end zone. So you see Phillips lined up here on the bottom of the screen. The weakness is down the middle and the two back corners. So you see Phillips here just runs a post corner and he just high lows. The combination of Phillips, of Walker breaking contain, you see the defender come up and he just throws it right over his head. That's the weakness of that zone defense when you play two high safeties and the combination of Walker and Phillips. They've just proven to be a little too much for this Battle Hawks defense. Given Phillips going up to get it and a good... But that book term tells us it's going to be a zone read concept. Damu pressure sees it. Big opening to run. He's got a first down. He does slide as he told us he's trying to do more. In the communication and start building. Yep, here you go. Another pass. Third down needed. Got a conversion for a first down. And still going. It's Pierce L working his way to the end zone. Is he in? Waiting for a signal. No, so he stepped out at the one. But on third down, the conversion. Tamu rolling, throwing, completing. for St. Louis in the third. One now. On the RPO, they will run it and get it. You mentioned. They run a stunt and they get some pressure and they swing it to Michael, who's got a block. Michael looking for the first down and he has got it. Oh, they ran the ball. Doing it again. This time they convert, so Michael makes up for it. It's then a one. Tamu with room to run. He's got an easy first down. And he slides down at the 16-yard line to now give yourself first and goal. Damu on the keeper, makes a move, lunging towards the end zone, touchdown! We just talked about it. We just talked about it, KB. As this game goes on, his ability to pull this ball, pull this ball. All game he had been handed it. 51 again, Robinson. This time he's flat-footed, takes the back, and Tamu just thinks he's a better athlete than him. He's stronger. Long way to go. Pressure, Walker in trouble, and down he goes. And Walker gets up still. Did he not go down? He throws on the run. He's got a completion. There never was a whistle. Maybe he was on top of the defender and never went down. Phillips made the play. Insanity in Houston. What in the world? Looking on the field with a completed catch. <laughs> Like, well, first he sure looked down. Let's take a look. 
Right there. Yeah, he's down. Oh, he's definitely down. Oh, my goodness. He's <laughs> way down. That's what I thought. The runner's left elbow was down. Yeah, that's the right call. With contact, therefore, it'll be fourth down and 12 at the 43-yard line. Tamu, blitz coming. He's in trouble. Shakes, throws. What a catch by Pearson L. Oh, my goodness. Championship here with the XFL and then get back to the NFL. That is what is driving him, and right now we're seeing that growth. Uh, you know, it's a great... Here on the fake, on the throw. He's got the tight end. Jonathan Hayes talked about it. They only got 52 players. Tamu into traffic, and it's intercepted. Jeremiah Johnson. Johnson with some blocks inside the 40. Johnson turns on the speed inside the 10. Third return, setting up his team on a third and goal. Walker looking to throw, does so. Caught, touchdown, Phillips number three. That's an awesome play, KB. That's a really unique version of an RPO. But like you said, Cam Phillips is here, fakes the stock block, and he throws the ball across. That Andre Williams in the game, the bigger running back. Walker got to keep it as you called it, Greg. He's in for the extra points. Bro. There's 69% on third down. Blitz is coming. Tiamu sees it. He's in trouble. And down he goes. What a time for that sack. Ty Schwab, the backup linebacker. Fourth down. Four-man rush. Tamu throws. And he's got the first down to Russell. Tamu fires, and it is caught. How is Lucas coming across from the number three receiver, but contested catch. Here's Washington, Gray. Makes a move on his way. Touchdown, and there's a flag. Hang on. Oh. Defense had 12 players. Wow. The 12th player did not get off the field. That penalty's decline. Results of the play. Touchdown. Wow. Sorry. These plays. And that play is a mess. Incomplete. Bring on an extra lineman. Go run it here. And got a first down. Greg will be there for that one. Third down. They're just going to run the football. And looks like a first down from here. Now what do they mark it? If he's got it, it's game over. And that'll do it. First down. And the Roughnecks will finish it. With a 28-24 win, a hard-fought, well-played football game here tonight.